can't forget to think about what happens after summer is over and our kids have to go back to school. Well, today, the Accelerate Ed Task Force met again to present their final recommendations for what should happen in the upcoming school year. And they explained things will definitely look a bit different. News 19's Julia Kaufman explains. This document highlights just some of the recommendations the Accelerate Ed Task Force gave in their final meeting today. It offers guidelines on how schools should operate while keeping everyone safe during the coronavirus pandemic. The task force has met 26 times virtually to develop guidelines for South Carolina school districts. Our focus from the state level down to each school and classroom must remain directed toward protecting the health, safety, and wellness of students and staff while giving students the best possible learning experience. In the final recommendations today, State Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman said she hopes to eliminate standardized testing to relieve some anxiety. I will pursue a waiver for state and federally mandated test. I cannot guarantee that this will become a reality without action from the United States Department of Education and other state leaders. But I will do all within my power to provide the relief from testing from those high stakes tests. The task force wants school districts to establish cleaning protocols and rearrange tables and desks for social distancing. They also say districts should have a distance learning plan for students that will be staying home. South Carolina is in the process of purchasing cleaning supplies and PPE for schools. The task force recommends that school districts submit their plans for the school year at least 20 days before the first day. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX.